What's up guys, this is Default here with another episode of Halo 4 Monthly News. And this month we're going to be looking at everything that came out for February, what we uh, missed, maybe what we didn't miss, maybe stuff that we played. Um, we're just going to be going through all the updates that came out for Halo as far as a lot of web web stuff that's floating around. Make sure you guys just are aware and know, what, know what's out there and what's part of that Halo community. First, right out of the gate, we have the ending of Spartan Ops. Season 1 is done. It's bye-bye. No longer exists. <laughs> it's ended. Episodes 8, 9, and 10 were out this month, and right now they're going over the designer choice missions, which are just missions from, I think, the designers that they threw in this week because episode 10 ended last week. So if you have the chance to play, today's Friday, you got tomorrow and Sunday to play. Go play those missions from the designers, the ones they like the best, and uh, yeah, just get some more experience and level up if you haven't had time to do that. Team Doubles came out this month with three different game types, Affinity Doubles, Doubles Pro, and CTF Doubles. We had some other playlists added, Team Snipes, which involved Team Snipes and Shoddy Snipes, which was really, really fun. Brought that back from Halo 2 and Halo 3. Team Snipers included modded versions of Abandon, Haven, and Shoutout, which Shoutout was a Lockout remake, which got really, really popular in the Halo Forge test playlist. It was also added to the SWAT playlist, so you can be looking for a Lockout, Shoutout remake in the SWAT. Team Throwdown playlist was added as well. The Crimson DLC playlist that we were all playing last month has been removed, due to the map pack that came out on the 25th. But the uh, maps will still continue to appear out throughout matchmaking, so don't worry, you're still gonna have a chance to play those. And obviously, if you have them downloaded on your console, you can't play them without that. So, I mean, you'll, you're still gonna have the maps. The release of the Majestic map pack came out this month on the 25th, so I was really, really excited about that. We got Monolith, Skyline, and Landfall, and it had two brand new playlists. The Majestic Team, which is 4v4, and the Majestic Free For All for eight players, FFA, um, were released for that, so there's two different playlists you have to choose from. Specializations Rogue and Tracker were available this month, so those of you that didn't have those avail available to you, you now do. Prima Games released an official Spartan Ops episode guide. Um, it's an e-guide only, so if you haven't had a chance to see that, the link is below. Links to everything that we're going to be covering is below, so you can go check out all that stuff. Be sure to go check out that episode guide for a lot of tips and tricks. It's pretty cool. Section 3 came out with some new glyphs. If you don't know what glyphs are, uh, go do some research on those. Those are stuff that kind of unlocks codes and different things for you in the game. Yeah, but they came out with some more and they found some extra glyphs in the Majestic map pack that came out. So hopefully in the future we'll have some more some more stuff to decode and hopefully unlock. The file share is up and running on Waypoint. Got it working last month for the console, but now it is actually on Waypoint. So you can go out there and look up maps or game variants or whatever you want. If you're away from the console, not at home, you still have the availability to go out there and look at stuff, so that's good. The Halo 4 generator, uh, which you're thinking, what is a Halo 4 generator? Well, it's actually a website that you can go out there and you can create your own Halo 4 emblems, which are just emblems that you have available to you in the game. But like many of us that use emblems for websites or own marketing and promotional material, we're oftentimes left digging through code, digging through the website, trying to rip those, those PNGs out of there. We no longer have to do that. There's some guy who made a website, and so you can do that. It's probably been out for a while, but I'm just now getting around to, to noticing it. But link to that is below. Something more TV-based, if you're a big Conan O'Brien fan, he actually did a review of Halo 4 recently, <laughs> which was pretty funny. It was uh, shown on TBS. So if you haven't had a chance to look at that, uh, be sure to go check out that video. So apparently we have Covenant floating around. So lock your doors at night before you go to bed, turn off all your lights, and uh, hold it down, because you never know where they're going to pop up. Steven Lofus? I think that's how you pronounce his name, has completed a massive update to his website with the full Halo scale charts. The total number of pages that he had increased from 12 to 27, which is like 120% increase. So he had a lot, a lot of stuff. It contains a huge barrage of new items from previous games, plus major vehicles from Reach and Halo Wars. So go take a look at that. Um, a mini series actually came out. It covers the first campaign mission, the first Spartan Ops episode, and Complex were all roped into the first episode of this miniseries. These shows are full of helpful tips and strategies that you can use in war games, ops, and it dives into the story behind Campaign and Spartan Ops. Big shout out to Halo Forge Cafe. They're hosting the first ever Halo 4 tournament. It's going to be played on maps by its members, so if you're part of that website already, you kind of know what this is about. Sign up information is below. Sign ups do close March 22nd. Um, prizes will include Microsoft points, in-game codes for Halo 4, and uh, ForgeCafe.com membership perks. So if you're already a member, that's kind of more incentive to go play. And then lastly thing we got was the big title update for this month. 
There was a lot of stuff that they added, um, gameplay updates, matchmaking updates, we have new maps now. The biggest thing to me is they reduced the damage with the bolt shot. If you're not aware of this, the one hit kills from 25 to 20 meters has been reduced to 15. So that shotgun that you are carrying around in your back pocket no longer is as effective as it once was. So if that's something that you always use in your loadouts, that's something I always use in mine. It might be something you want to start considering maybe either switching up or keeping it still really, really good. But you are going to have to now be closer to get that one hit KO. And that wraps up this month of Halo 4 news. We're going to catch you back next month. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think so we can keep doing more of these. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Thanks.